So an example of an uncountable set would be the real number line. And the real reason why the real number line actually turns out to be uncountable is because it's what's called dense. And so what we want to imagine is that, right, it's a little theoretical. We won't get too, too deep into it now, all right? But let's say, for example, I have a rational number. I've got one half, okay? And I've got, you know, a number that's fairly close to it. Let's say, for example, I've got um, five, uh, 499 out of 1,000, Okay, actually that would be on the other side. Now, what I do know is, is that in between 499 of 1,000 and one half, I'm actually gonna be able to find another value, right? So there actually is, say for example, I'll have um, 4,999 out of 10,000. Okay, that's also, right, just slightly less than one half, but it's uh, more than 499 out of 1,000. And then it turns out that I can keep having, I can keep having, keep having, keep having, and now all of these, these are all rational numbers because I can write them all as fractions. But it turns out that in between any value, let's say for example, this value here is the closest possible rational number to one half. All right, so that's the closest possible rational number to one half. What ends up happening is, is I actually end up having, there's another irrational number in between them. And I just keep doing that. I keep doing it forever. And so what ends up happening is we end up getting what's called density, the density of the real line. That's the idea that this, the real line is continuous. There's no breaks in the numbers. When we looked at like, say for example, the integers, in between any integer, there's a bunch of fractions. There's tons of fractions. And any, in between any rational, two rational numbers, there's gonna be an irrational number. But on the real number line, there's no breaks, okay? So the real number line is continuous. And that's what makes the real numbers uncountable, okay? The real number line is continuous, so R is uncountable. It turns out, another one that's also uncountable, the complex numbers. The, the complex numbers are defined, if you remember, they're the set of um, all values, A plus BI, with A and B belonging to the reals. Well, if, I mean, I, you can actually leave that to, up to you to kind of think about that. That's gonna end up being a bijection, okay? And the bijection part of it is is that we're just gonna assign an A, well, assign a B from the real numbers for every value for the, the complex numbers. So consequently, it's gotta be uncountable. You know, in fact, if you kind of think about it, there's gotta be, uh, well, infinity to the infinite, infinity times infinity, like an uncountable number of infinities times infinity um, elements in the complex numbers. So consequently, it's gotta be uncountable, okay? Uh, a little note here, in terms of overall sizes of the cardinality, um, the real number line and the complex number line, they are in fact uh, bigger sets. Uh, any uncountable set is gonna be bigger than a countable set. And it kind of makes sense because when you think about it, the real number line, okay, contains uh, the rational numbers, it contains the integers. It's gonna contain lots and lots and lots of countable sets, okay? So what we say, right, say for example, just to kind of kind of put this into picture form, we're gonna have that R, okay, uh, its cardinality is gonna be greater than, say for example, the rationals, all right? But it turns out that the rationals, okay, have the same cardinality as the integers, okay? Um, and it's actually gonna end up being the same cardinality as, it turns out, the integers plus, yeah, okay? But R will have the same cardinality as C. Okay, because they're in one-to-one -one correspondence, all right? So that's that idea of uncountability. On the one hand, we have a countable set, which is basically one that can be either is finite or can be mapped onto the positive integers, or we have this idea of an uncountable set that is basically dense. That is, is that there's no break in it. It ends up being continuous from a graphical or pictorial perspe perspective.